Hey guys, Braden here with ATT. I don't have a lot of time, so if you want this full version of the Awesome Pottery Trap, you can just head to patreon.com slash Podcast. We need this support. The support helps the show tremendously. You've got two ways to support Patreon or Supercast, or you can just top up the beer coffers by scanning that code and sending us some beer money. Anyways, I hope you enjoy our Awesome Pottery Cap and think about supporting the show. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. Open parking lot with a blue sign. I can't make out what that sign says. Is there a blue sign too? There was, it was, okay, so oh! there was a sign, but there wasn't an empty parking lot. But I did see red flower, red floral pattern. Uh, there's, the, so there's, I didn't even notice when we were there, there was a blue sign as well. It was a blue sign. Antons. Right here, Anton's. It's not on that building, but it's near it. It's near it. I said beside an empty parking lot. So I wasn't, you know, but I seen the red, it's red building with a flower pattern. I I did have to go peek myself peek inside. Um, it did not have Buddhist temple woodwork, but it did have a Russian flag. So I got the foreign part right, and the red paisley. Not bad. I'm in the twenty to eighty percent range, I believe. Honestly, so. the fact that two people were this close is fucking astounding. <laughs> I walked, I walked in though, and I seen the Russian flag, and like. Like the Soviet flag, not just like the Russia flag, like the Soviet flag. Well, the and Soviet went, flag means we should probably go. And I went, I shouldn't yeah. go in here. <laughs> no. Especially yeah. not right now. And it looks like the Russian was, you know, pulled off the, the top. It's now just the house. Yeah, it was the it was the uh, the Russia house or something, but now it's just house. Interesting. Hmm. Again, very good. Uh, we're not bad at it. Very good. So, you know, we're obviously surprised from this. We go get a, we go get a coffee and then... Uh, we head our way down to Central District Brewing. Well, do you right meet and greet? Um, we actually walked past it, but luckily, uh, is it uh, Hunter? Hunter is, you know, Hunter and his wife. Uh, you mean Cowboy there. Dan? Cowboy Dan. <laughs> uh, uh, he was outside, yelled at us, so we, we go over there. Uh, we had a wicked crew uh, at the brewery. You know, we had two tables, get a little private back area. We we're just shooting the shit. Everyone was. Uh, you know, chat and getting to know each other. We had a fucking awesome, awesome crew there. Everyone is there. Um, absolutely phenomenal uh, time chatting and shooting the shit with everyone. Um, the place was good. Good brews, man. Like good yeah, the beers. Beer good. The, ca- good. the kayakers Koshk or whatever the fuck. Bomb. Yeah. Beer. Fuck yeah. That was killer beer. Um, you know, we were just shooting the shit, having a good time. Um, other than like it, it was such a treat it was such a treat to meet you know people that enjoy the show and hear how they got in it you know how they found it the and... show how they found it why they like it what they like about it um it's and then eddie the right now, lake charles louisiana how'd you get into alien theory theorizing Spotify. just searching it up yeah i was searching conspiracy yeah and this came up yeah and uh what's uh what's your favorite case for? dude honestly what's the um the catacombs the... oh the french ones yeah. Yeah. all right i'm here with my favorite you're right, uh, the legendary meme king, the Burmeester. Let me tell you something, brother. I'm here with my muse, the Bradenster. Uh, I wanted to know how you found out about the show. Ah, it was actually when Raven was on. Yeah. Raven plugged your show on his podcast. Yeah. And then I checked it out, and then he was on for like two minutes. <laughs> but then I kept listening, and you guys were funny. So. Yeah, and you just stuck with What's your favorite episode? Uh, I still, because I've also been to WrestleMania, the boys get drunk. I love that. Yeah. I love when you guys just tell stories yeah. that have nothing to do with what you actually do. You go off on the camera. Yeah, the camaraderie is, is more fun in some cases than yeah. the actual stories. I love your stories too, but yeah. um, I also love your early true crime stuff. Yeah. Sorry, Dan. We're going to have more now Kurt, that... Kurt Cobain, have, yeah. like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like, that stuff's interesting to me too. I mean, how many... Abduction cases, can you talk about, you know, it's the yeah. same, oh, there's no proof, and we yeah. don't know what happened. We, we're taking this person at their right. word, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, we, 
Right. Believe it or not, we right. don't know. Right. No, so I like I like all that. I like uh, yeah, the boys go to WrestleMania. That was fun. So yeah, we've definitely uh, been on trips to WrestleMania. Okay. And if done you other don't know too. who this guy is, if any, if you've ever seen any funny picture from ATT, mm-hmm. chances are. This guy made it. I mean, yeah, it's 100 percent by him. The case file photos too. Yeah, all the case file photos. Uh, you can find his stuff. Uh, Britain Action or Dream Day Entertainment. There you go. All right. Hey, thanks, Instagram. <laughs> Too sweet. I'm here with Mr. Texas and the one and only Lizard Caveman. I'm just here asking people what got you into ATT. My wife showed me ATT on a road trip going to Texas or Tennessee in like 2016. Yeah. And I think it was Pyramids. I think it was the first one. Fucking Pyramids. I was hooked ever since. I was like, oh, these fucking guys. These are my guys. And we've met Lizard Caveman before. He came to LA, met us in Alien, saw us in Alien Con. That's right. So this is uh, the second pod trip in a row. Yeah, second pod trip in a row. You haven't missed one then. Nope, I haven't missed one. Two in a row. Uh, What's your favorite case file? Uh, I mean, there's just so many, and honestly, I listen so much, they kind of blend together. <laughs> but I love the cryptids, I love the the spooky ones, yeah. I mean, you know. Uh, yeah, we played we play ghost video yeah. games together, so yeah, that makes a lot Get of sense. Get spooked together, yeah. saved this guy's life a few times. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, no uh, he was an actual, turned into a reptile yesterday, this is a, in fact a reptilian. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to edit your eyes, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and then we got Mr. Texas here. Mr. Texas, how'd you get into ACT? Oh shit, okay, it's a bit of a long story, but so like COVID started and I was a big Rogan listener, but yep. all he talked about was COVID and at the time I was like super nervous, I was like, what the hell is this thing? So I just wanted to like tune it out, you know, so I was like, okay, let yep. me Google like anything podcast or something that's random and there's an article that came up and if one of you guys, you guys were on there and so I added a bunch of podcasts and you're like the first or second one to listen to. And but I turned y'all on and I was like, it's gonna be pretty funny, I like it. And it was like I didn't have to worry about COVID or the real world or anything, so it was like, Good, oh, yeah, dude, I'm gonna get into this. And what's your favorite what's your favorite case file? Uh one oh five. One oh five, which was that? Uh I don't oh it's I think y'all talking about uh J. Edgar Hoover or somebody. But I like it because at the beginning y'all do the Mason Daniel song. Oh yes. Yeah. Where Dan yeah. graduated and in celebration of him becoming a full fledged maester, we sung the hit song. Yeah. Mr. Daniel! <laughs> Boys, thanks for coming out. Honestly, we yeah, appreciate it so much. My dude, pleasure. Anytime you want to come back to Texas, man, you know, like. Hey, I'm going to mess with Texas again. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. How sweaty I am. Oh, yeah. You're a leaking, oh, brother. God. You're a leaking, brother. Uh, <laughs> three days of being on the cruise. So uh, this is Jason. Jason is by far going. He's sexiest theorist. Sexiest theorist of the year. Secondly, he's, he's getting the theory of the trip. Uh, this guy flew the furthest to be here. He's from the UK. Uh, and honestly, the, the, it's cooler I, than us. He's cooler than us. And this yeah. first thing is the best trip of the, be, the best story of the podcast that came together <laughs> happened with him. Come around the corner. We got into a Joe Rogan show together. And it, it all lined up because he was amazing. there. Um, how'd you get into ATT? Uh, so. Religiously, like Joe Rogan, loved all yep. the alien stuff. I'm a fucking nerd. Yeah. Ran out of Joe Rogan. I was like, well, I need a new podcast. Types an alien, and your podcast was like the first one that came up. I think I started on podcast two, uh, and just started this like religiously from then. Like every single time something came out, and then about eight months ago, got onto uh, Patreon, and yeah, you're fucking blast. What's your favorite episode? Uh, either the Rougarou or El Nasty. Rougarou, yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking love the skits. What's, uh, what's, what's, your, what's your best, uh, let's hear your best Rougarou. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can't do I it. I do declare <laughs> that, that we are having our sales <laughs> some real hell of a time. Come on now. Yeah, come on now, now. dude. Yeah, you can, you, I know, I know, I know, I know you've been practicing that. You've been fitting in your car. I'm so yeah. bad at accents. Yeah. You've been, you've what, been do you, what do you mean? You always got one. I mean, you got I'm, I'm really good. To keep up to date with all things alien theorist theorizing, follow us across social media on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. For updates on new videos and content on YouTube, Don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing.